Hello. Good night. Ay, todavía no sé. Hi, Edgar. Hola, hola. Hi, in English. <laughs> How are you, Edgar? Así. Bien, muy bien. Are you okay? Tell me in English. Are you okay? Okay. Yes. Uh, are you... Moment, please. Ah. <laughs> que tengo problemas con el audio. Ah, you're having problems with your audio. All right. Hi, Erika. Así a lo lejos escucho. Oh, really? Ahorita veo. Erika, can you listen to me well? Yes. Ah, well. Oh, Xiomara is connecting right now. Nice. Nice. Did you have a nice vacation or did you work? I'm, I'm, yes, I work. Oh, you worked. All right. Yes. All right. And Edgar, did you work on vacation? Yes. Yes. Hola. Yes. You worked on vacation. Um. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> yeah all right very good you are you are having problems maybe with the with the audio you're having problems with the audio uh -huh. how are you linda are you there hi how are you linda fine thank you and you teacher fine i'm fine and patty Oh, Patty, Patty is frozen. <laughs> She's frozen. Hi, Patty. Hello. Good night. How are you? Fine. Fine. Okay. Fine. He's here also. Okay. Well, we're gonna begin today. Can you can you listen to me? Very yes. well. Yes. Yes. Ah. Okay. Very good. Hi, Francisco. Hi, Peter. Hi, guys. Hi. How are you? I'm fine, thanks for you. Nice. Okay, uh, we're gonna begin today. Uh, this is a, a new week. This is week number two. Okay, we're gonna do a lot of things this week. We're gonna learn things. Uh, remember, we have to practice English in the class. Don't be scared or afraid, all right? We have to speak English in the class. Oh, <laughs> here I have Reina, Herman, and Jose Nelson. Gustavo, all right? He has three names. Okay, we're gonna begin today with our class and we're gonna begin with a new unit, right? Can you see the, the PowerPoint presentation? Yes. yes. Very yes. good, all right. Yes. So we're gonna begin a new unit and the unit is unit number, oh, sorry, there is a, a little thing here. I'm gonna correct it right now. Sorry. Unit number two, yes. Okay, it's not unit number one. We're, we're beginning a new unit and it's unit number two, all right? We're gonna study directions and instructions. This unit is very nice. It's gonna be very nice, very interactive, all right? Because we're gonna do a lot of things. So uh, the objective for today or what we are gonna learn today will tell companies locations using there is and there are. We're gonna study there is and there are, all right? Maybe for some of you is familiar, maybe for others is not familiar, but we're gonna learn there is and there are in this class, all right? Very good. Now, let me see. Okay, we're gonna practice or we're gonna begin the class with some conversation questions, okay? This, these are like trivia questions. Have you ever have you ever heard have you ever heard the term or the concept trivia? Have you ever heard it? Have you ever heard trivia quiz? For example, let me see. What color are pandas? Can you tell me what colors are pandas? Black and, and white. white. Black and white. Okay. How many departments does El Salvador have? 14, 14 departments. 14 departments, very good. Uh, let me see another one. Uh, what? What's the national bird? What's the national bird from El Salvador? Torogos. Torogos, or some people call it uh, talapo, right? Mm, yes. It's similar. Is, they, they are, they, the name is similar, right? Yes. 
What's the national What's the national famous food from El Salvador? Pupusas. Very good. So they are trivia questions. They are questions that about culture, about information, etc. So here I have some questions for you. Okay. So we're gonna check the questions so you know a little bit about the vocabulary. The first question said, "Don't answer. Don't answer to me because you're gonna practice in pairs." So the first question says, how many planets are there in the solar system? Don't say, don't say it yet, all right? You're gonna practice in pairs. And if you know the names, better, if you know the names. How many days are there in a week? Okay, you're gonna say it. How many soccer players are there in a team? Do you know the meaning of team? Yes. Yes, okay. How many, oh, sorry, there is a, a little mistake here because a little S is missing. All right. Oh, sorry. Uh, how many bones, how many bones are there in the human body? Okay, do you know the meaning of bones? Huesos. Yes, very good, very good. So those are, those are the, the, the that's the meaning all right that's the meaning of the word okay the next one okay i'm gonna put it here okay how many bones are there in the human body the next one says how many strings are there in a guitar do you know the meaning of strings bling, 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 bling. all right yeah yeah the guitar has strings so you have to think about how many Okay, five, 10, all right, you're gonna say it. The next one, how many departments are there in El Salvador? Okay, how many suns are there in the solar system? Okay, that's what the questions that we're gonna practice. And maybe you can take a, a picture, all right? Take a picture of the questions because we're gonna practice the questions in pair. All right? Moment, please. Yeah, yeah, of course. Nice, Edgar, very good. <laughs> okay, so do you have any question with, with pronunciation? No. No, everything is, is clear yeah. with, with yes. the pronunciation. Human body. Oh, oh human. human, human body. Body. Yes, human, human body. body, very good. Okay. And here, okay. how many strings are there? Strings, uh-huh. String. Yeah, we begin the sound with strings, okay. Strings. And then uh, solar system, all right? Okay. Solar system, okay. So we're gonna practice, let me see. Oh, I have more, more students right now. Sandy and Nabel are here, okay. So uh, we're gonna go to practice in a small rooms. Right now I have 12, so we're gonna have, uh, let me see one group of three students. Remember the questions in English and the answers in English. Try to practice your English as much as you can. All right, very good. So, Abel, Evit, and Ruth, are go eh, Patricia, are gonna work together. You're gonna be the, the, the biggest group. You're gonna be the three in the group. Okay. Then I have okay. Francisco and Edgardo, Sandy and uh, Francisco, sorry, and Sandy, because Francisco and Edgardo are the same person. <laughs> Edgar and Jose <laughs> Nelson, Herman and Reina, and Erica and Linda, okay? So we're gonna go and I'm gonna give you some, some minutes. I mean, it, it's, it's not a, a difficult thing that we're gonna do, okay? And let's go. Bye bye. Go to the small rooms right now. That is the first activity that we're going to do. Okay? Let me see. 
Jose Nelson, what happened? Jose Nelson, are you there? Or maybe he has problems. Sorry, I'm going to talk to him later. Edgar, I think your, your classmate had problems. So you and I are going to practice together, okay? Okay. You're going to practice with me. All right, so I'm going to ask you the questions. Try to, try to answer in English. If you don't know how to give me the complete answer, you can give me only a number, okay? Okay. Okay, Edgar. How many planets are there in the solar system? Um, nine planets. Nine planets. Do you know the names? Do you know the names in Spanish? Um, <laughs> uh, Jupiter. Oh, Jupiter, yes. Maybe you don't know the names in, in English, but I'm going to help you. Huh? Jupiter. Saturn. 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 Mm -hmm. La Tierra. Earth. Mm -hmm. Earth. La Luna. Oh, the moon is not a planet. <laughs> ah, no. <laughs> Yay, we don't have, a, eh, we don't have a, a, a planet. Venus. Venus. Oh, Venus. Neptuno. Venus. Mm -hmm. Venus. What else? Ya dije. Ah, you, you said, yeah. I said. Hi, Abby, Oye, good me, evening. Me, me, me. Okay, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you the other question. Hi, Hi Abby. All right. Hi. How many how many days are there in a week? Edgar, how many days are there in a week? Uh, cuántos días? Yes, that is the yeah. How cuántos días de la semana? Are there in a week. Son siete. <coughs> Seven. Yes, very good. They are seven days. Excellent. They seven days. Seven days. All right. The next one is, let me see. Next one is, um, how many soccer players are there in a team? ¿Cuántos son los jugadores? Yes, yes, that is the meaning. Okay, how many players are there in a team? Uh, 11. 11, okay. How many bones, remember that we are missing an S here. How many bones are there in the human body? Ah, that is a difficult question. 300, 200. 200. Yeah, like, like 200, right? Okay, uh -huh. how many strings are there in a, in a guitar? Las cuerdas, ¿cuántas? How many strings? Bling, 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 bling. How many strings are there in a guitar? Uh, six. Six, yes. How many of the partners are getting a brother? I am Toko. For, yo, oh, you. Okay, very good. I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? I'm gonna ask you some questions and you will give me the answers. How many planets are there in the solar, solar system? <coughs> I'm sorry. <coughs> sorry. How many planets are there in the solar system, everybody? There are nine planets in the solar system. Excellent. Get on. Very good. A very complete answer. I, I wanted only the number, but if you give me the complete answer, uh. <laughs> I'm very happy. The yeah, next class. Right. So there are nine planets. There, there are nine planets, guys. Yes, right? Yes, nine planets. Okay. Uh, how many days are there in a week? There are seven days. There are seven, seven days. days. Excellent. There are seven days. Ustedes siempre se me adelantan. Very good. <laughs> you are nice. Okay. How many soccer players are there in a team? You are always ahead. There are 11. 11, 11, 11 players. Um, oh, okay, and, guys. And big you, you You are experts with this. Oh, there are some ladies that are experts too with soccer, right? There, they, yes. there are 11, okay. Uh, remember that one S is missing here. How many bones are there in the human body? 
206 bones in the human body. Really? 206? 206. Wow. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna type the, the answer. So 206. Yes. Yeah. Wow, we have a lot of bones, right? Yeah. And if you know the name of the bones, wow, because they are <laughs> 206. 206. Okay. Ah, 206. How many strings are there in a guitar? There are six strings. Excellent. Very good. There are six strings. There are stars. We have 12. But a normal guitar has six. Okay. How many departments are there in El Salvador? 14. 14. Very good. And you know the names, right? Uh, how many suns are there in the solar system? In our one. solar system, how many one, suns? One there are sun. one sun. Oh, there is, there is, there is one sun. Excellent, very sun. good. Now, you, you are like predicting the, the use of there is and there are. Excellent, perfect, very good, everybody. Okay, now we're going to continue, but first I'm going to erase this. Okay. Uh, we're gonna continue with the with the next slide. Now here we have a map of an office, right? We have a map of an office, and you can see different things here. Here I have six questions that you have to answer looking at the map. Okay. For example, uh, let me see, Grecia, Yvonne, can you read, please, question number one and number two, please. Okay, how many rooms can you see? And what are their names? Exactly, very good. So question number two is related to question number one. So you have to see how many rooms there are and you have to mention the names. Now, uh, Sandy, can you please read question number three and question number four, please? Uh, I don't see, uh, how many windows can you see? Mm -hmm. And number four? Number four, how many chairs can you see? Excellent, very good. And let me see question number five and number six are for Irene, please. Can you help me, Irene? How many beds can you see? How many doors can you see? Excellent, very good, Irene. Thank you very much. So you're going to practice these questions with your partners, okay? So you have to pay attention to the map. Uh, I'm going to tell you, the doors are are these, these are the doors, okay? These lines are the, the doors. So you have to see how many doors uh, uh, there are. And also some uh, chairs and desks, etc. And you have to mention the, the, that. So please, if you want, say, if you can take a picture, take a, a, a small, picture a small picture <laughs> take a picture <laughs> all right ready 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 excellent very good all right uh no questions about this everybody no questions okay. clear like tamarindo <laughs> okay very good so we're gonna practice let me see now I have more, I have more students. All right, so we're gonna go to the to the small rooms. I'm gonna recreate the rooms so we can so we can practice with more people. Okay, let me see if we can practice in pairs. No, we're gonna have a, a group of, of three always. Uh, let me see. So I'm gonna give you some some minutes. Okay. Uh, ready? Yes. Okay, my dear ladies and my boys, let's go right now. Okay, bye-bye, everybody.
go to your breakout rooms, please. Jose Nelson, are you there? Oh. Okay, Abby and, and Francisco. Ah, excellent. Very good. You can share the you can share the 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 image. Oh. Okay. The one question, how many rooms can you see? Um, um, can you see one, two, three, four. Thirteen. How many, how many rooms can Nine. you see? Oh, rooms. Yeah. Rooms, uh, A. Yeah. Nice. Okay. okay, you can you can count the the the. Okay, and the next one is a uh, chair. Chair. Um, We're alone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but now you have Claudia with you. Hi, Claudia. Hi. Hi, it's nice to see you again. All right, so practice, uh, practice the questions. I'm gonna explain a little quickly, Claudia. Uh, yes. we, are, we are gonna look at this, at this uh, picture, all right? And you have to answer the questions that are here. All right, you have to answer the questions. We're gonna do it a little quickly because uh, maybe we don't have time to take a picture, all right. How many rooms can you see, ladies, in the, on this, on this uh, map? Seven. Seven. All right. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Six. Exactly. Eight. All right. So we have eight. What are the names? What are the names of, of these rooms? A smoking room. Huh? A store room. Yeah. Kitchen room. Mm -hmm. A store room again. Yeah, we have two, right? To a storeroom, yes. Meeting meeting room, a storeroom, another one, and Brent's office. Who do you think? Who do you think is Brent, Patty? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Don't know. Do you don't know who Brent is? Maybe he's the manager, right? Yes, the boss be the boss <laughs> yeah in english when you want to say boss okay. you can also Chefe. say the 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 top not the top chef but you can say the the top uh -huh. banana yeah you can say that expression it is an idiom okay um how many windows can you see two two i don't see windows you don't see windows I don't know why, but I don't see. Imagine this office, yeah. the windows, no windows. <laughs> no windows. There, there will be mm. a lot of um, heat. Okay. How many chairs can you see? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, four, fourteen. 14 chairs. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. For me, 20. For you, 20. And for you, Patty? Yes, 20. <laughs> 20 chairs. Okay. Yes. Oh, we will go in a in a minute to to our room in four, three, two, one. Bye. Bye bye.
Okay, I'm sorry. I was I was muted for a moment. Now, you could answer the question. How many rooms can you see, everybody? Seven. Only seven rooms? That was that was Room. Nine. Eight rooms. Eight rooms. Eight. 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 Okay, let's see. One, One two, two, three, three four, four, five, five six, six, seven, and eight. Six, Very good. Seven, and our eight, eight because this is a teacher. <laughs> teacher, but the fire exit is, I think, is a uh, Es una salida de emergencia, no de esa room. Oh, so maybe this is not a room. For me, I... I... Oh, yeah, you are right, because these are the stairs. These are the, the steps. Uh -huh. So it's like, yeah, maybe, yeah, you are right. So maybe they are they are seven. Okay, Um, let me see the next question. What are they, your names? Brand's office. I, I have a question. Who... Who do you think Brent is? Who is Brent? The boss. The boss. Yeah, very good. The boss. The the manager. The big cheese. <laughs> All right. Uh, what is the name of this room? The storeroom. 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 And how many storerooms are there? Three. Yeah, there are three storerooms. One, two, and three. Now, what's the name of this room? Meeting room. Meeting room. room. All right, and this is the? Kitchen room. Kitchen, and this is the? It's cooking room. Smoking room. Smoking room, very good. Well, but I don't think that, well, well you're gonna you're gonna discuss about that in the next in the next questions, all right? Because I don't think that in the offices there are smoking rooms in El Salvador, maybe in other countries. Now, how many windows can you see? I don't see. Windows I don't see. <laughs> Three windows. <laughs> oh, do, do, can you see windows? No. Yes. Or no? I well, I don't see windows because five <laughs> no or maybe there are a a cor but there are no windows so weird okay what about number four how many chairs can you see yeah. 50. 20. We're, we're gonna count together okay one, one two, two three, three four, four five, five, five six, six, six. Seven, eight, nine, 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 this. Do you do you know what this is? What the, what this is? No. Um, no. Maybe and, crystal water. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the water dispenser. In El Salvador, we call it el oasis, right? Yes. Yeah, yes. but it's the water dispenser. Okay. Now, how many desks can you see? How many desks? Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, seven eight, eight, nine, 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 nine ten, eleven, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, because this is a table. This is not a, 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 a desk. And how many doors can you see? How many doors can you see on this map? One. One. That door, right? One. Two. 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 Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. 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 Here. Six. Six. Seven. 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 And here? Can eight. you see a door? Eight. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to say eight. Okay. 
Very good, everybody. Nice. All right. So, job. excellent. Now, these questions are for talking about your company. Right? For example, or, or your office. For example, we have three, uh, three questions. Three questions. The first question, uh, let me see. Gil Sigifredo, can you help me read? The first question, please. Uh, okay. What place are there in your workplace? Example? Uh, bathroom? Storage room? Oh, I, I will help you. Storage. Storage room? Etc. Et et okay, Service. very good. Exactly. So when you answer this question, you will say, oh, in my office, you can say there is, or you can say uh, we have, all right, no problem. You can say there is or we have. And Victor, can you help me read question number two, please? Victor, okay. welcome. Okay, how many, how, how many meeting rooms exist in your company? Okay, very good. You will mention, right? Ah, yeah, we have one meeting room. We have two meeting rooms. So we don't have any meeting rooms. Okay. And thank you, Victor. Question number three is going to be for Erica. Can you help me with question number three, please? How many doors, windows, decks, phones, computers are they are there in your office okay so if you don't know the exact answer, okay you can invent all right remember all your answers need to be in english so if you want take a, a picture please remember that after the class you can delete the pictures or you can write the information down on your notebooks uh, do you have any question with vocabulary everybody no all, all the vocabulary is clear? Okay. Yeah, very good. Very good, Francisco. All right. Thank you. Okay. So uh, let's go and practice in a small room. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop the share for a moment. Okay. I see Patricia is writing the, the questions. Yes, you are writing the questions. All right. Maybe you can share the screen so you can write more questions. Okay, we're going to stop the share here and we're going to go and practice. Oh, I almost have full house today. I'm very happy. Ooh, what am I doing? Okay, so a little quickly, all right? We're going to answer the questions. So we're going to go to the breakout room. I'm going to recreate the room again. Hey, now we can practice in pairs. Remember everything in English. Easy. I'm going to give you just... Okay. Bye-bye, everybody. Again. Yes. Bye-bye. You're going to practice in pairs. In pairs. Okay? Excellent. Let me see. Claudia is with Sandy. Excellent here. This is this is a good team. Claudia and Sandy. Yeah. Okay. And Claudia. Claudia, your microphone is mute. Oh, sorry. I will let me see Sandy. I will ask her to unmute. Yes, yeah. sorry, sorry. No problem. <laughs> have the questions. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The number one. The number one, Sandy. What place are there in your workplace? Um, uh, 
if, if you don't have a lot of places, Sandy, you can invent, no problem. It's, it's just to practice the vocabulary, okay? There are three. There are three in my workplace. Three bathrooms or three storage room, room, three office. What place are there in your workplace? For example, Sandy, in your office, do you have a meeting room? Mm. Un... Mm. Yes. De reuniones. Do you Is have it, a meeting uh, room? Uh, yes. But I'll, I don't know. Mm. No sé cuántas son. Oh, you don't know how many they are. Mm, yes. Okay, all right. Okay. It's but, a building. Oh, um, oh it's a big building. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, okay. Only, for, yeah, I know. Okay, continue. I will go to another room. A smoking oh. room. Oh, ya terminó. Finish, teacher. Finish. <laughs> quickly. Sorry, everybody. Time, time was short, right? Do you want more time? Yes, one teacher. Minute, more minutes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It, it was a little time, but I'm going to give you more time. Yes. Gonna, for me, the most important thing is that you practice in English, that you, re, uh, like, how can I tell you? Like, like, like in the movie Frozen, let it go, let it go. <laughs> all right? Mm -hmm. I want you to let it go. I want you to practice. All right? Erika. Okay. Erika says that she stayed, sorry, Erika, I will, I will say it, but she stayed alone. All right, I will, I will be careful the next time, Erika. Okay, so I'm gonna give you more time so you can, you can practice. I will give you more, more minutes. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. If you are alone, I'm gonna move you to another room, okay? Okay, maybe, all right. I think Juliana had problems with the, with the internet. You were practicing with, Juliana, are you there? Hello, good night. Okay, hi, good night. All right, let's go and practice. Bye bye. A bit more time. Practice more. Okay, let me see. Uh, 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 phone, 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 um, thing, computer, uh, computer. Uh, thing, and this, the um, thing, <laughs> a standard. Not, I know work in the office. I go out in the ah out you, out. Go out. Uh -huh. So you you're you have a field field wow. job. I mean you go out from the office. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> and you, Victor, it's... in your office? In my office uh is a I stay in a build build building. A building. A building, building. yes, it's a oh it's a building. Oh so one, there are a lot one, two, of a lot of um one, three, four, seven, um, seven uh, floor. Ah, seven, seven floors. Yes, seven floor. Uh, it's a uh, many. Uh, many de todo. <laughs> many room, yeah. uh, it, the, the window is a, the wall is a, is a, a glass. Oh, oh, so they are, they are glass windows. Ah, uh, the glass window. Yes. Ah, uh, 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 yeah, door is a, uh, for example, or one in, in my floor. It's in the four 
Okay, before I one, two, three, four, eight, eight doors, but it's a but it's a division for the for the place. Ah, okay. All right. Ah, uh, 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 um, I'm meeting. I'm meeting room. It's a have big... a, a, I have a question. Do you have a smoking room in your in your company? No, it's a no. no. Prohibido. For it's not for common, it's a, right? Yeah, it's forbidden, but uh, for and uh, law. Oh, uh, but, but uh, forbidden uh, is prohibido. It is forbidden. Mm -hmm. uh, That's what Victor said. So yeah. It, yeah, it is forbidden. In El Salvador, it's not permitted. No. In the United States, yes, yeah, they can, they can. But at the, at, in, the, in the beginning, in, in my job, it's a, a out, out the building, it's a, a came- Was permitted. Smoke. It's not one, one time in, in the day. Ah. Uh, in the morning or the afternoon, but one day. One, now, one, one twice, one, 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 una vez. Oh, one, once, once, yes, uh, but, but uh, after forbidden, well, no. never, never. Yeah, in my work, yeah, it's a, it's a forbidden smoker. Uh, I work out the office, it's a, it's a forbidden smoke. Oh, yeah, so it is not permitted. No. no, it's good, it's better. Oh. Excellent, everybody. You know, I'm very happy because, uh, well, I have had the opportunity to listen to some of you practicing and you are practicing your English. And I am very happy, all right? I will send you one pizza uh, when we finish the course to each of you, to your house. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because you are doing a good job. I'm, I'm very, very, very happy. All right. Okay. We're going to continue. Let me see. And now let's see what we have to do because we have to follow the... Okay. We will go to manual. So if you have your book with you or if you have your book in digital or, 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 what, uh, or whatever, Let's go to page number 19, all right? We will go to page. If you don't have the manual, I will project. Yeah, because my uh, I, I use the manual too. So let's see, we're gonna go, where is here? It's here. All right, here it is. Can you see? Can you see the page? Maybe yes. Can you get that yes. yes. Very good. Do you want me to make it bigger or no? I'm gonna make it bigger. Okay. bigger, a little bit. Yeah, maybe. Okay, let me see. Okay, maybe a little bit more. All right. Okay. Now, better. Okay. Better, teacher. Yes. All right. Now, okay. Now, if you want, or if you don't have your manual, maybe printed, or maybe it is because maybe you only have one device to, to, to get into the class, uh, take a picture because we will practice the conversation. I want you to practice pronunciation, okay? So, uh, but first, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be your model with some, with some words, all right? Maybe, uh, let's see, this is a, I work for Hutch. This is the name of a company. It's like if you say, I work for Coca-Cola or I work for Kimberly Clark, etc. Let me see, downtown, meaning of downtown. Do you know the meaning of downtown? Centro. Yes, very good. When we go to San Salvador downtown, venga, mi amor, venga, all right? Yeah, in San Salvador downtown. <laughs> go and, and buy things, all right? Uh, teacher, the, teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yes, when Claudia. You say, when you say the um, downtown is, uh, it's correct, say, in Spanish, barrio bajo. Yeah, oh. exactly. Yeah, it, it is. It is. It is also uh, another meaning. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. El Salvador. If we think about, if we think about, uh, oh, 
Claudia, another word that you can use is suburbs. The suburbs. The suburbs. Mm -hmm. Very good. Or, or, or downtown. But if we think okay. about El Salvador, is, uh, do you know where Pollo Broiler is? Pollo the central, uh, like central city. Exactly. Like, like the, the city center. The city center. Okay. Very good. Very good question. Okay. Uh, growing. What's the meaning of growing, everybody? Crecí. When you, you grow up. When en you desarrollo. grow up. Exactly. Grow. All right. But but in this case, if you talk about a company, a company growing. Wow. We only have one customer and now we have one million customers. Right? Growing. Is clear? Yes. Yeah. The next one is branches. Yeah. What's the meaning of branch? To course. Si me lo pueden decir en inglés, mucho mejor, the definition. If not, no problem, all right? We're gonna, I'm gonna try to, to help you. So what's the meaning of branches? Sucursales. Yes, very good. The, the, for example, you have the big company and then you have a small oh. uh, like store. For example, MD company has a lot of branches, has a lot of stores. For example, in Metro Centro, Galerias, in Multiplaza, all right, there are a lot of branches. NBC, branches, IBC. Oh, we are planning on launching. What's the meaning of launching? No? Lanzamiento. Exactly, very good. It is when you are going to present something new. You're going to present something new to the, to the public. Okay. Very good. You're going to present something new to the public. So it says, we are planning on launching. Uh, there isn't one yet. What's the meaning of yet? For example. Todavía. Todavía. But in this case, it's negative. Aún no. Exactly. Very good. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. That's the meaning. It's good that you have cleared these words because you can have a better understanding of the of the conversation. So I'm going to I'm going to try to practice the pronunciation of these words because when you go and practice the conversation this strategy maybe you can say oh this is old school to repeat the conversation and everything but believe me it is a good way or, or a good uh, strategy to practice your pronunciation. Okay, so in this case, we're going to say this is downtown. 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 This is downtown. Growing. 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 Okay, this is branches. Branches. Okay, pay attention to this one. This one is I'm gonna maybe I'm gonna get close to the camera. It's not jet, it is yet. Yes. 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 Exactly. It's like it's like what I told you. Yes, it is yes. 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 This is oh, verb. This is a verb in past. So this is a verb in past, and the pronunciation is visited. 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 Excellent. Visited. It is not visited. Visited. All right, visited. visited. And then we have launching. 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 Launch. 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 So it's like if you say almuerzo, it's like if you say launch with ing. Launching. All right. Launch. Now, uh, did you did you take a picture? Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> So we're gonna go and we're gonna practice. Okay, maybe one person can be Tom and the other Orson and then you switch. I'm gonna give you maybe like like three or, or, or four minutes so you can practice. Si lo puede, if you can read fast, do it. Teacher, but I have a problem, I, I don't worry, all right? Because here we are practicing, okay. So we're gonna stop the share and we're gonna go to the small rooms again. Let me see, let me see. Okay, so, okay, we will have always a, a group of three. It's going to be Claudia, Ruth, and Saida. You're going to be in the, in the trio. Okay, then Francisco and Grecia, Reina and Victor, Erica and Ivit, Jose Nelson and 
Sandy, Abel en Raquel, Edgar en Gil, Sigifredo, Carmen en Juliana, en Germán en Linda. All right. Bye bye, everybody. Let's go to the room. Irene, you didn't go. <laughs> oh, she's she's going. Jose Gustavo. Okay. I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited, I visited one of the store, the, on the store, the, the, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, no. That's great. Orson, visited... Orson is, that's great. I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah. There are uh -huh. six in San Salvador. We're planning on launching one, one in Santa Ana, Santa Ana these days. No, uh, in the country. <laughs> yes, the, that's great. Hola. 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 Okay. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana this day. There isn't one yet. Okay. Um, if if we have to use it again. Is it a como el que le toca a usted? That's great. I think there is a little mistake. Uh, because where it says, mistake. Tom, I work for Eco, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. So Orson is, that's great. I visited one uh -huh. of the schools the other day. Uh -huh. Yeah, th there is a little uh -huh. problem because Orson has to be where it says, that's great, not on the other line. Okay? Okay. Yeah, okay, practice again. Again, now with the correction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, yeah, there are six in San Salvador. Okay, we are playing on lunching one in Santa. There are a few. What company do you work for? I work for Echo, the painting company. There are 25 branches in the country. That's great. I visited, I visited one of the stores the other day. Yeah, there are six in San Salvador. We are planning on launching one in Santa Ana these days. There isn't one yet. Okay. Wow, very, very fast. Very good. That's nice. Excellent. Teacher, Hi. hello. Hi. <laughs> you didn't pay attention that I was here. Oh my God, we're going to close. We're going to close in 10 seconds. You didn't practice, Aida. Yes. Ah, okay, good. perfect. Ah, wow, ladies. Everybody, did you have any problems with pronunciation? No? Did you have any problems with pronunciation? Sorry, Edgar. Ah, okay. Que nos dice, me recuerdo, pero ya después me olvida. Ah, you forget. Okay, if I, I have a, I have a problem uh, with forget. Visited, ah, visited, okay, okay. or what? Yes. I don't remember. Visited. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Visited. Visited. Next, Visited. Week, next week, we're going to do a little, a little uh, review about verbs in past. So if you don't, if you don't remember the verbs, I'm going to help you. But next week. Okay. okay. Uh, this one is downtown. Down, down, down. Growing. 
Growing. Growing. After branches. Ah, uh, remember. Uh, sometimes we don't have to ask because that is in Spanish. We have to say branches. Brand. Branches. Like if you are smiling. For example, if you say, listen yeah. to this. You say zanahoria, right? And you say, oh, carrot. Mm, but we say carrot, say carrot. Carrot. Excellent. It is like, a, like if you are smiling. Carrot. Carrot. Excellent. Now, how do you say in English pastel? Cake. 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 Excellent. Okay, there we have like, like the sound of A, B, C, D. Okay, we have cake. But what about okay. if I say gato? How do you say gato? Uh, cat. Cat. Oh, but, okay, but look at me. Gato. Cat. 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 Excellent, because if you say cat. cat, you are pronouncing the word cat with a Spanish pronunciation. Okay. So that's why, yes. uh, how do you say, okay, okay. How do you say dulce in English? Candy. 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 Okay, if you say candy, candy, that pronunciation is in Spanish. All right, candy. try to say it in English. For me, it's sweet. No. Yeah. Can, you can candy, say. Candy is for, candy is for food. Uh, and no. No. no, sweet is for, for food or taste. Uh, Claudia, right? Right. Yeah, but also if it's sweet, it is another way to say dulce in British English. Okay. Uh-huh. So in British, for example, in British English, uh, cookies are... Mm -hmm. So we have differences. So how do you say dulce in English is candy. 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 Yes, because candy. if you say candy, it is like kind of a Spanish, all right? But later, we, we're going to be working with that. Okay. Uh, time to, time to, time to count how many students I have right now. Okay. So let's begin with Ruth Patricia Zuniga Alvarenga. Present. Present. Very good. Okay. Uh, Abel Edenilson Salazar Melara. Present. Okay, very good. Remember that when I am uh, calling Present. your names, you need to have your camera on, all right? Yeah, yeah, now everybody has the camera on. You look beautiful today. Saida Janet? Present. Uh, Perez Rodriguez, all right, very good. Yes. Uh, Ivit Alexandra Rivera Rodriguez? Present. Ah, yeah, she's there on the corner, on my screen <laughs> on the corner. <laughs> uh, Victor Palacio Reyes? Present. Excellent. Uh, Claudia Lorena Funes? Present. Okay. Uh, Grecia Ivonne Mejia? Present. Okay, she's there. Uh, Sandy Sorellana? Present. Yeah. Now, now, because your faces are familiar for me, I can, I can find you quickly. But the first week, I was like, where, where is she? Where is she? But now I... I okay. Herman Agustin? Present. Ramo Villet. Where are you, Herman? Yes. Ah, yeah, if I saw you. <laughs> Jessica Del Car. Oh, no, no, she's not. Juliana Araceli Ramos Rosales. Present. Ah, eh, okay. Very good. Ah, uh, Gil Sigifredo Norberto. Present. Okay. Edgar Manuel Bonilla Franco. Present. Okay. Jose Nelson Gustavo Pineda. Present. Very good. Raquel Abigail Cigarán Murcia. Present. Okay. Carmen Irene Navidad Campos. Present. All right. Linda Xiomara Tabora Portillo. Present. Oh, yeah, she's there. Okay. Erika Elizabeth Salmerón de Humansor. Present. Okay. Uh, Reina de la Paz Villatoro de, Flo de, sorry, de Álvarez. Present. <laughs> Sorry, Reina. I was in the floor. Oh my God. All right. Then. Okay. 
En Francisco Edgardo Pérez Guzmán. Oh, very good, Francisco. Okay, excellent. All right, now let's continue and go again to the internet. But now, what we have to do is a little... Today, I have a challenge for you. I, I have a challenge, un reto. Today, I have a challenge for you. We're gonna have a listening, okay? The listening is like 18 minutes, but we are not gonna listen 18 minutes. We're gonna listen maybe just four or five minutes. But we don't have translation, no, tra no subtitles, no captions, okay? So uh, first, I'm gonna tell you what the listening is about, all right? Okay. This is a, a listening, a talking about your company, okay? And it says, what can you say about your company? How would you describe your company? There are a number of things we have to consider. We can talk about the size, if it is big or if it is small, employees, if they are 40, 400, and its branches. Also, we can talk about the company's history, the, cult the company's culture, etc. So you will listen some people talking about the, the company. And these are the questions. Let me see if I can make it bigger, all right, because it is a little... Okay. First question is, how many people work at Stella's company? Number two, what does Stella's company sell? And number three, what are two ways or two forms, all right, the company contributed to the local community, okay? Uh, those are the, I don't know if in your company you have the, the social programs, all right? For example, for healthy people, etc. All right, so I'm gonna mute uh, the microphones so you can concentrate, all right? Uh, you can concentrate on the listening. And uh, if you want to take notes, it doesn't matter de lo que entienda, right? Uh, what, what you understand, try to take notes. This is a very good technique, all right? Very, very, very good technique. Okay, let's see the volume. Okay, all right. You're listening to Business English Pod, the Business English podcast for professionals on the move. Welcome back to Business English Pod. My name's Jennifer and I'll be your host for this episode, the second of a two-part series on talking about your job and company. What can you say about your company? How would you describe it? There are a number of things to consider. There's the company size, its employees, and its branches. But there's also company history, culture, reputation, and future plans. In today's lesson, we'll cover language for talking about your company. We'll start with giving the basic facts and then move on to ways to describe company culture and structure, reputation, and the organization's future plans and goals. We'll listen to Stella, an IT manager, and Rhonda, a recruiter who is helping Stella find a new job. In the last episode, Stella told Rhonda about her job and her concerns about the company's old equipment and outdated technology. Today, she'll tell Rhonda more about the company itself. As you listen to the dialogue, try to answer the following questions. 1. How many people work at Stella's company? 2. What does Stella's company sell? 3. What are two ways the company contributed to the local community? I like my company and I enjoy training, but I feel like my talents could be better used in a different position. I see what you mean. Is it a large company? Not really. About a hundred people in all. There are two offices, one here and one in Northport. 
They sell all kinds of insurance. I'm surprised they'd be using such old technology. I know. The culture is a little rigid, though. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And everything needs to go through the proper channels. Yeah, some companies are like that. True. But aside from that, it's a good company, really involved with community service. They've donated to auctions and fund tutoring programs for children. I've seen that in the press. So why do you want to leave? Well, as much as I like my company, I still have to look out for my own career. Sure. As far as I can tell, there are no significant changes on the horizon. No plans for expansion, no upgrades. It's a tough decision, but if I don't make a move now, it'll be harder to change jobs in the future. Let's go back through Rhonda and Stella's conversation and look at the language they use. I see what you mean. Is it a large company? Not really. About a hundred people in all. There are two offices, one here and one in Northport. They sell all kinds of insurance. Rhonda starts by asking Stella about her company size. She tells her the number of employees, 100 in all. We use the phrase in all to signal a total number. Stella also tells her how many offices the company has and what they sell. When you're talking about your company, basic facts like these serve as an introduction. You can also include facts about the type of business, how long the company has been operating, and what the client base is like. Let's run through some examples of what you could say to relate basic facts about your company. The firm was founded in 1890. We produce electric motors for the automobile industry. Our clients are mostly mid-sized companies. The co okay, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to stop here. I will repeat. All right, now now you have maybe a general general idea about listening, right? Uh, is the listening difficult? Tell me. Do you understand from one to ten? How much do you understand? Tell me. Seven. 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 All right. Seven. What about the others? How how much you understand from the listening? Six. Seven. Six. Six five. Six. All right. It is because of obviously the first time you listen all right when you listen for the second time it's gonna be a little easier now if you pay attention these two ladies okay one lady is talking to another lady and one lady is planning to abandon her company okay she wants to go for another company so the other lady is asking questions like how many people work how many offices does your company have? What kind of products they sell? Okay, so pay attention to that information, all right? I'm gonna tell you. Number one, how many people work in the office? Number two, how many offices there are? And number three, what kind of products this company uh, sells, okay? And maybe you can write all the words that are familiar for you. For example, if you listen office, ah, okay, I'm gonna write office. If you listen, for example, we, ah, I'm gonna write we, okay? That is gonna help you uh, to collect vocabulary. I will repeat again, all right, a okay. little bit. Porque la primera parte, the first part was uh, reading uh, this, all right? This was the, the introduction, okay, very good. So I'm gonna repeat. I like my company and I enjoy training. Log, try to answer the following questions. 1. How many people work at Stella's company? 2. What does Stella's company sell? 3. What are two ways the company contributed to the local community?
I like my company and I enjoy training, but I feel like my talents could be better used in a different position. I see what you mean. Is it a large company? Not really. About a hundred people in all. There are two offices, one here and one in Northport. They sell all kinds of insurance. I'm surprised they'd be using such old technology. I know. The culture is a little rigid, though. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And everything needs to go through the proper channels. Yeah, some companies are like that. True. But aside from that, it's a good company, really involved with community service. They've donated to auctions and fund tutoring programs for children. I've seen that in the press. So why do you want to leave? Well, as much as I like my company, I still have to look out for my own career. Sure. As far as I can tell, there are no significant changes on the horizon. No plans for expansion, no upgrades. It's a tough decision, but if I don't make a move now, it'll be harder to change jobs in the future. Let's go back through Rhonda and Stella's conversation and look at the language they use. I see what you mean. Is it a large company? Not really. About a hundred people in all. There are two offices, one here and one in Northport. They sell all kinds of insurance. Rhonda starts by asking Stella about her company size. She tells her the number of employees, 100 in all. We use the phrase in all to signal a total number. Stella also tells her how many offices the company has and what they sell. When you're talking about your company, basic facts like these serve as an introduction. You can also include facts about the type of business, how long the company has been operating, and what the client base is like. Let's run through some examples of what you could say to relate basic facts about your company. The firm was founded in 1890. We produce electric motors for the automobile industry. Our clients are mostly mid-sized companies. Okay, very good. Now, uh, I'm going to stop the share because we're going to collect the vocabulary. All right, let me check. Is here. All right. This is. Oui. Sorry, I always make a mistake when it is that. Okay. Let me see. This is the podcast and the new vocabulary. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. The new vocabulary that we're gonna have. Oh, sorry. Sorry, everybody. Okay. Now we're gonna we're gonna type some new vocabulary. Uh, what what were some words that you could listen? Well, first I have some questions. How many people work in Rhonda's company, Stella's company? I'm sorry. One hundred. One hundred. Exactly. And I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you something new. She said one hundred in all. That is what she said, 100 in all. This is a new expression. So if you want to talk about the total or the total of mm -hmm. the energies of a company, you say 100 in all, por todos. That would be like, 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 the, like the translation in Spanish. Is it clear? Yes. yes. Yeah, for example, how many people work in your company? Mm, maybe 400 in all. That means complete, the complete staff from the boss to the janitor, all right? Very good. Uh, number two, okay. how many offices uh, does Stella's company have? Two, two offices. Office. Two offices. Two office. offices, two very good. They're, they are two offices, excellent. Two offices. They are two offices, no more. Okay, ah, this is the next question. And the person who tells me is gonna have a big prize. What kind of products they sell? Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a little clue. What kind of services they sell? 
or yeah, in this case, it will be like 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 product or or service. I don't know how you did, did you business? listen? Sorry, like business. And no, program to children technology. 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 It's about technology. Fixed technology. It's about computer. No. no. Computers. No. But I like uh, I like your participation. Excellent. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you something. No, es tuvo fácil. It wasn't easy because you didn't have like like a conversation of of, of subtitles. This is the best way to practice listening. Okay. And your answers are the things that you listened in the listening, okay? Mm. No, 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 no more ideas? Okay, I'm gonna I tell you. Sorry? Uh, I, information technology. Technology, IT. no, IT. no. I'm gonna give you a clue. I'm gonna give you a clue. Okay. It begins with this. Con eso comienza. It starts with that. Maybe in the vocabulary you wrote. Or maybe because it is a new word. Paso desapercibida, right? You didn't listen to the word because maybe it's new or you don't know the meaning of this word. No idea? Okay, I'm going to tell you. Stella's company sells or works with... It is an insurance company. Mm -hmm. Insurance, like uh, MAPFRE, MAPFRE, right? Mm -hmm. eh, Ace Suiza. 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 Yeah, very good. Yeah. So, Estela's company works. Okay? okay. Another one I don't remember. AXA, all right? Uh, there are there are uh, a lot of insurance companies and the and the and the offer. Okay, now this this company has some social programs. What are the social programs this company has? Donations. Donations. Very good. Yeah. Donations. Uh, uh, let me see. Donations. For for uh, for children, all right. Programs Another? to children. Yes, programs to children. Yeah, Thank she you, specifically you. said. I'm gonna tell you, tutoring programs. Mm -hmm. Tutoring, but she she was speaking very fast. She's tutoring programs. Tutoring, tutoring programs. Tutoring. Tutoring. Tutor. 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 Yeah. Tutor, tutoring. Yeah, tutor, tutoring. Yeah, but we don't say tutor because that is that would be like British English, like tutor. Tutor. A tutor. Program for pro program for children. Programs for kids. Yeah, chill. Uh, programs for kids. That's what we're gonna say. Programs. Oh, sorry. Programs for children. Oh, sorry. Programs for children, yeah. I'm gonna teach you a new word. Van a aprender una nueva palabra. You're gonna learn a new word. Also, this company, uh, this company has tutoring programs, programs for children, and also they, they uh, carry on. Auctions. Auctions. This is the new word. Do you know the meaning of auctions, everybody? No. Okay, I'm gonna give you an example. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the auctions for today. Now, I have here this beautiful bygone, all right? This bygone was from, from Queen Elizabeth II. And this is a very valuable program. Now, I'm, I want to sell it. I, let me see, who can give me four dollars? Who can give me four dollars? Four dollars. Patty, no? No. Yes, tell me yes. Tell me yes, Patty. Yes. Four dollars. <laughs> okay, five dollars. Who gives me five dollars? Who gives me five dollars? Ibit, you give five me five dollars. dollars? Yes. Okay, yes. I need ten dollars. Who gives me 
sense. That is auction. What is the word in Spanish? Subasta. 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 Hey, very good. So this company for helping people also carries on auctions. Okay? It's clear? Auctions. Yes, okay. Uh, let me see. Uh, now, you tell me some words that you listened. Algunas palabras, some words that you listened. Can you tell me? Large, large company. Large, yeah, large is a synonym of, of big, okay? Large company or you can say big company. Yeah. Another word. Job training. Yeah, job training. Very good. Job training. Okay. Another word? Oh, Time. I'm going to teach you another. I'm going to teach you another. Okay, I'm going to teach you another. Maybe this is not a new word for you, but pronunciation is a little bit difficult. How do you pronounce it? Horizon. Sorry? Horizon. 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 Very good. Yeah, that's the way you pronounce it. Horizon. 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 Yeah, because she said, oh, this company is good, but I don't see any new horizons here. That's what she said. Okay, she said, I don't see new horizons, so I need to move to another place because in this company, I don't, have, I don't see any new horizons. Is clear? Yes. yes. Perfect. Very good. Now, I'm going to teach you another word. Let me see. Facts. Facts. Do you know the meaning of facts? Hechos. Hechos. Verdades. That's the meaning. I'm going to tell you in Spanish, I'm sorry, because the explanation in English is a little difficult, but facts are things that are always true. And she said that when someone or a person asks you about the company, uh, you can say some facts about the company. And she gave three examples. For example, you can say about your company. was founded in 1890. Or you can say, we produce, and you say what your company produces. Or our clients are, for example, it, um, let me see. La Constancia sells beer, beer. right? <laughs> yes. So La Constancia can say, our clients are people who love drinking beer. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah, so they are facts about the company. Uh, is it clear? Is clear? So, so. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. For example, I'm going to give you, the way that other example, I'm going to give you other examples about the word fact. Something that never, never, never changes. As yes, that's the way it is, and it's not going to change. For example, um the moon the moon that you can see in this in the in the sky is a square no no, no. it's a square no. No. no the moon is a triangle no no what is that a circle a circle so the moon is a circle is a fact okay? Yes. Okay, let me see another teacher, one. Teacher, a question. Yes, yes, Victor. Yeah, what the, when, when you use the, the word make, make, M-A-A-D-E. Make? Yes, make. Ah, yes. okay. Make, make is a verb, a verb that you can use with some special expressions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. For example, uh, May in, 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 this, in El Salvador. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, made. May, may, eh, uh -huh. eh, uh -huh. may. Like may if in, you in, say in, made in China, made in China. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, yeah, made is a past participle verb. Yeah, next week, Victor, we're going to learn. We're going to study those verbs, okay? Okay. Yeah, we're going to study. We're going to study those verbs. Okay. Okay, no questions, everybody? 
more vocabulary? No? Okay, we're gonna stop here because we have to continue. Very good, good job. Okay, but we have to continue. Now, uh, we're gonna continue with, okay, let me see. Okay, now, here I have a picture for you, all right? It's a picture. And what I want you to do is, I want you to tell your classmate, because you're gonna practice in pairs, I want to tell your class what you can see. Okay, we're gonna use this expression. We're gonna use this expression. I will type it here. Okay. I see, this is what we're gonna use. I see. Can, can you see everybody? <laughs> Can you see this expression? Yeah, I yes, see. Yes. Yeah, for example, I know you are good students and you are very intelligent, so I don't like to limit my students because you don't have limits. Okay, so pay attention to what we're gonna do. You can see, okay, ah, yeah, there's a picture. What can you see? So you will say, I see, for example, I see a dog. That is something very easy. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Yo quiero que vaya más allá. I want you to go one step forward. Le voy a enseñar esa frase. One step forward. I want you to go one step forward. Un paso adelante. I want you to go one step forward. And I want you to say, I see a black and white dog with a ball in the mouth. Oh, I'm, I want you to give more information. Is clear? Yes. Yeah, because yes. if you see, if you say, I see a dog, it's easy. But you, come on, you can do it. You can, you can say more information. You have the, cap, you have the capacity. Oh, for example, here, ah, I see two birds. That's something very easy. But you can say, I see two birds. One bird is orange and the other bird is green, okay? And it is not difficult vocabulary, right? Yes or no, everybody? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. Lo que esté, what is inside your possibility? Try to do it. Now, please uh, take a, a picture. I think you took the picture already. <laughs> do you have the picture? Yes, yes. Perfect, very good. So I'm gonna stop the share and we're gonna go and practice. If you have any question in the meeting rooms, in the, in the small rooms, uh, there is one option. For example, uh, Patty has a question, Patricia has a question. So if you have a question, uh, you can activate over there and I, and I will go. Okay, so let me see. We're gonna, I'm gonna recreate the rooms for, so for you to practice with different people. Let me see. Trio, okay. I not take, Sorry? Ima, I not take imaging. Oh, you didn't take the picture? No. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share one more time so you can take the picture, okay? Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Ah, uh, yeah, very good. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. All right, so let's go. We're gonna practice. Remember, try to speak as much as you can, as much as you can. And I will give you plenty of time to, to do that, okay? Bye-bye, everybody. Go to your rooms, please.
and I see one, two, three, four clothes. And I see two birds, one color green and other color brown. <laughs> Orange? Yeah, great. Orange. Orange, okay. Mm. And what else? I see two rags. I see a... Uh, uh, I see a cat, I see a house. Next. Okay. I see a yellow cat. I see a five children, two girls and three boys. I see the two rabbits, one white rabbit and beige rabbit. And I see a dog. Dog, oh, okay. How do you say caminito? <laughs> Way. Do you know how to say that in English? No? Way? Yeah, you can say, I see one, one way, or you can say, I see one path. One path. Path. Uh -huh. uh, uh, grass. 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 Very good. Grass. And yes. grass. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Mm -hmm. Continue. I will, I will go and visit other students. All right? Go ahead. You're doing okay. a good job. Thanks, okay. Thanks, teacher. Right. You're doing a good job. If you have a question, let me know. All right? Okay, teacher. Uh, Pasco, I don't know. We have a grass. Yes. Uh, the, the green, the green thing. No, the little girl with horse. Oh, this is a, a helmet. Ah, uh, and she has a helmet. And I see three boys. Two boys yes. are sit in the, how do you say, grandma? Oh, on the grass. grass. On the grass. Yes, they and are sitting on the grass. And the other boys have a pajarito. A, oh, they have a little know, bird. A little bird in your arm. Their arm? In your arm, this. Okay. I see six house. Um, I see two birds. One is green. And other is brown. Emma. Guys, how are you? Nice. Hi. 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 Oh, you finished? Uh, no. Yes. The, I see a uh, one dough in the how do you say laguna or oh in the oh in the that will be like estanque in english mm. is pond p o n d pond pond uh, p p o n d mm -hmm. pond pond <clears throat> i yes. see one dog in the pond yeah yeah. Hey, we almost finished. All right, we we almost finished. Oh my God, okay. time flies. The time is very small. <laughs> yeah. Okay, my dear ladies and boys. All right. Now, um, 
Here we have this picture, but first, before asking you any question, I want to explain something. And it is, I want to explain to you, there is and there are, okay? I want to give you a little explanation about this. Uh, there is and there are, okay, there is and there are, we use there is and there are when we talk, about, it is to talk about existence, okay? The reason there are is to talk about existence, the existence of, of things. For example, oh, uh, in my room, hay uh, una cama, all right? So when you talk about that, you're gonna use there is and there are when we talk about existence. So, uh, we have two different forms. There is, that is for singular or plural, everybody? Singular. Singular. Excellent. There is, is for singular. Now, I want you to pay attention to something very, very, very important. When we say there is, we always, we're gonna, we're gonna use a or we're gonna use an. It's clear? When we say there is, for example, there is a table, there is a window, there is a bed, there is a door, there is an elephant. Remember that a is with consonant and an is with vowel. Is clear? Yes. Yes. Okay. There are. Is the same because in Spanish there is no difference. In Spanish is I for singular and I for plural. But in English we have a difference. There is is for singular and there are is for plural. For plural. plural. Okay. Plural. Yes, plural. for plural. Now pay attention here, my dear students. Pay attention here. When we say there are, we need. Either, puede ser either, a number or the plural. Well, this has to be always. The, the word has to be plural. It's not possible to say there are, a, no, it's not possible. There are, it, it is not a combination with a. There are is for plural. So we can say, for example, there are two desks. There are four flowers, there are five cars, there are 10 doors, always in plural. Is clear? Yes. 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 Yeah, very good. Now, for the negative form. Eso lo vamos a estudiar mañana. We're gonna study this tomorrow, so don't pay attention to this. Only pay attention to this, the positive and the negative. For the negative, very easy. Is, isn't. Why? All right, isn't. Are, aren't. But with are, we're gonna, we're gonna include something very important and it's any, because any means, significa any means zero, nothing. Como ninguno. Exactly, for example, mm. yeah, it means any, any. For example, uh, <clears throat> on the moon, the one that you can see in the sky, on the moon, there aren't any people. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. There aren't yes. any people. That means zero. Is clear? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Oh. If, <clears throat> if, 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 if we want to practice there is and there are with this picture, what can you tell me? There are a five kids. Okay. Repeat, please. Pero le vamos a quitar la A. 
All right, repeat, but don't mention A, there only are. the number. Repeat, please. There are five kids. Excellent. Very good, perfect. Yeah, because if you say A, A is for there is, that is singular. Mm -hmm. Excellent, there are five kids. Let me see, one, I'm oh, sorry. Where is the spotlight? Okay, one, two, three, four, and five. There are five kids. Okay, give me more. Tell me there more, is, please. There is a dog. Excellent, there is a dog. Or you can say there is a black and white dog, there is a big dog, there is a small dog, etc. Next. There are two girls and three boys. Excellent, very good. There are two girls and there are three boys. Perfect. There what else? Is a fun, a sunny day. Sorry? There is a sunny day. Ah, okay. Yeah, you can say there is a sunny day or you can say it is a sunny day. It is. Okay, what else? There are uh, there are two rabbits. Oh, Herman, repeat, please, Herman, repeat. There are two rabbits. Perfect. Se corrigió usted solito. You corrected yourself. Very good. Yeah. Yes. Rabbits <laughs> in plural. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You yes. corrected yourself. That's good. Okay. What else? There is oh. orange cat. There is a orange cat. And. And. Yeah. An orange cat. Perfect. Very good. There is an orange cat. Excellent. Hey, what, what's the name of these guys? What's the menu? What's the name of this? What's this? Beer. Oh. Guacamayo. <laughs> Loro. Uh, Loro. Uh, uh, this is a parrot. 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 Yeah. Parrot. I will write it. Parrot. <laughs> parrot. This is an urra urra. <laughs> a parrot. Yeah, this is a parrot. Okay. So we can say there is a parrot. Parrot. There is a parrot. What else? There are two rocks in the water. Excellent. I didn't pay attention to that. Wow, you are very observative. What are there? Ah, yeah. Let me see. This. This. Yes. And this. There are two rocks. Very good. Eh, and what about this one? Horse. Horse. There are. There is a horse. There is a horse. Excellent. There is a horse. Okay. Now let me see. What what what's the name of this, everybody? Cloud. Close. Cloud. Okay. Cloud. What can you say about the clouds? There are, there are four, four clouds. clouds. Excellent. There are four clouds. Excellent. And let me see. Uh -huh. What about this? They are six houses. There are six? Six houses. House or houses? Houses. houses. Excellent. Yeah, plural. Houses. There are, there are six houses. There are six houses. houses. All right. Very good. Um, Jose Nelson, do you remember you asked me a question? What do you no. say grammar in English? Uh, Backyard. Race. Backyard. Backyard. Yeah. No, I, I think what's right, I don't remember. Grass. 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 Okay, grass. Teacher. Okay. Uh, question. Teacher. Question. Uh, teacher, one question. What the, in, in the traductor, uh, in the, I, grandma, we traduce grandma, grandma, um, and cesped is grass. 
What is different? Oh, but but it's because in, in El Salvador we say grama, but the real word is césped. Yes, césped. Oh, but also the El césped is lawn. Lawn, like this césped is lawn. Y la grama eh, is grass. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Lawn, I, I, lawn I, I, is like, I, I, like, like the whole thing. Okay, very good. Now we we have oh my god we are running out of time because I'm I'm very busy with you. Okay, I will stop the share and I will go to the book because we're gonna do a little exercise on the book. Let me see where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? We're gonna do a little exercise on your book. Okay, here. Now, what I want you to do. Oy, what I want you to do is we're gonna complete a little exercise, okay? It's not difficult. Ah, okay, here, we're gonna complete this a little quickly, all right? Oy. Okay, now, um, here, what is the answer? We're gonna give me the answer for, for uh, these this sentences here. We're gonna use is or are. Uh, now let me see. Uh, What's the answer for number one? Are. 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 Very good. Are. are. Okay. There are. There are. For number two. Is. 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 Very good. For number two. Is. For number three. Are. 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 are all right but in negative way all right are perfect excellent okay so number one is are number two is is and number three is are i'm gonna erase because we're gonna move to the next to the next page so here we have a little explanation right what i told you what i told you that uh, we use there is are to state that something exists, okay? We use there is for singular and we use there are for plural, okay? Add not after to create the negative form. This is something clear, right? So we say there is one office, uh, there is not. So what I want you to do, we're, we're gonna do it together because I want you to do another activity and we have a little time. Now here we have four sentences. Cada una, each sentence has one error or one mistake. So please help me, help me find the mistake. For example, in number one, there is two branches in El Salvador. What is the mistake? There is. There is. There is. Exactly. Yeah, so it's not there is, it's are. So this is the correction. Eh, para, eh, en la plataforma, on the platform, there, the homework, la tarea, the homework for this class is así, is like this, ¿ok? Le va a decir, ok, identify the mistake, pero no lo voy a escribir todo, don't write all, you just need to type lo, como yo, like me, only the mistake and the correction. Yes. So, for example, there is, to, there are two branches in El Salvador, no, only mm -hmm. the mistake, are. Um, now, in number two, what's the mistake? Uh, is, 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 is. Are you sure? Are. Uh, what is the mistake? Okay, read are. the sentence and analyze the sentence. Facilities. 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 Uh, no, facilities is fine. There are. <laughs> there are. Okay. Are is and facilities are fine. Oh, uh, available is disponible. Available, available is fine. Is is one. No, one. 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 This is the one. mistake. Very good. We have to eliminate it. So the mistake oh. is one. one. We don't need. We don't need one. One is extra here. Okay, number three. Office. There, there is a new offices. There is a new office. Yes. Uh, what is the mistake? Office. Offices. Office. Offices. Office. 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 All right. 
Perfect. That is the mistake. So it is that is the mistake because we are looking for the mistake. And number four, there are not, sorry, there not are materials to work. There are not. Is, is, are, are, are. Not are. Any. The rates exactly. are. There are not. There are not. Exactly, very good, because we don't say that there not are, we say there are not. Yes. So, uh, Claudia, can you do me a favor? Can you please, uh, Claudia, read the sentence, but the, with the correction, please. Okay, there are two branches in El Salvador. Thank you, Claudia. Okay, Grace, number two, with the correction, please. There are, no, perdón. Sí, yes, there are facilities available. Available, very good. So, one is extra. Number three, uh, Herman, can you read the, the sentence with the correction, please? Okay, there is a new office. Excellent, very good. Nice, Herman. And number four is for Francisco. Can you help me, Francisco, please? Okay. There are not our materials to work. Okay, there are not materials to work, all right? There are not. Not are is the opposite, are not. Perfect, very five. good. Patty, you have a question? It's, a, it's five. Five sentences. Ah, we have, we have five. I'm sorry, let me see. Read, wait, wait, wait. read wait. the sentence five. <laughs> Five. Oh, yes, we have number five. I didn't pay attention. I'm sorry. Okay, number five. Uh, sorry, but I'm gonna I'm gonna erase the the answers for this. I'm sorry. We're gonna focus only number five. Okay, number five. There is not three boxes in the lobby. What's the mistake? Is is exactly. Can you please, um, Evit? Can you please read the the sentence correct? There are no treat boxes in the lobby. Perfect. Very good. Excellent. Do you have any questions, everybody? No. No questions. Okay. Now, listen. The last activity, the last activity, I'm going to reduce the activity because we have a little time. Okay. So, the last activity is going to be this. You're going to work in pairs or in groups, and I need you to write or say, sentences about the objects in your office. For example, in my office, there is a computer. There are two windows. There is one door, etc. Is clear? Yes. It's not difficult. It's not difficult. So if you want, write, write the, the sentences. Okay, I'm gonna give you five minutes to do it. All right, let me see. Five, six, seven, yeah, so we are okay. Okay, I'm gonna give, uh, no, no, no. Bye bye, everybody. Go to your bye. room and practice the sentence, but no bye to, <laughs> to finish. Okay. I don't have a group. You don't have a group. Let me see. Uh, okay, you can practice with, with Abby here. You too. And with Juliana. Let me see. Let me see who is alone. Give me a second. Yeah. Victor is alone. Okay. <laughs> and Carmen with him. Okay. And I'm going to send Juliana with this group. Did you receive the invitation? Abby, are you there? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. You didn't receive the invitation? 
instruction, Abby. Okay. Did, did you receive the invitation? Um, no. no. Ah, okay, give me ah. Okay, give me a second. Ah, Carmen, Carmen, Carmen. Okay, I'm gonna move Carmen to another group. Because... Okay, maybe you and I can practice together, Abby. What things are there in your office? Can you tell me? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, what what things are there in your office? Maybe maybe you can you can write the sentences. For example, you can say, "In my office, there is a computer." Okay. In my office, are they? They are there. There are. They are. Um. Twenty computer. Oh, oh. So in your office. Oh, okay. So you you can say, in my office there there are twenty computers. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, give me another example. In my office, they are um. 20 ch ch chairs. Excellent, very good. So in your office, there are 20 chairs. Uh -huh. Oh my God, there are a lot. Okay, what else? What about doors? In, in my office, um, five doors. There are five doors. They are five doors. Uh -huh, in my good. office, they are, uh, they are, uh, five windows. Excellent, very good. Okay, I, I will I will help you with with something because maybe it is a little confusion. Give me a second. I'm gonna help you. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna explain to you in this moment. Okay. We have two words in English. We have this one. Oi. Sorry. Okay. We have this word. Mm -hmm. And we have this word. Now, I'm going to help you with the pronunciation. Okay. Uh -huh. So, you pronounce this one, they. Uh -huh. There. There. Uh -huh. There. I'm, I, it's like if you say it like this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you. Uh, it's like if you do this. Like this. Mm -hmm. There, uh -huh. exactly. And this one is like if you pronounce it. They like is the person. Ah, exactly. There. Excellent, uh, Abby. Okay. Very good. This one, the first one is they, and the other one is there. There. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you want to say, uh, uh, there are. Sorry, but at the beginning you don't see anything. There. Let me see. There are four dogs. Okay. There are four dogs. Here you are talking or you refer to the existence of the dogs, right? Okay. Okay. There are four dogs. And with the second, if you say they are four dogs, sorry, I'm going to type it. They are four dogs. If you say they are four dogs, you say ellos son perros. Cuatro. Mm -hmm. So that is the difference. When you say there are, you refer to the existence. And when you say they are, is that they are dogs. Is clear? Yes. Very good. Oh, we have some seconds to finish. We have some seconds to finish. Okay. Okay. Okay, my dear students. Well, uh, we're gonna finish here uh, the homework. Acuérdense hacer la tarea. Remember to do your homework. 
the question, the question in the forum, ya está la pregunta en el foro por si la quiere hacer ahorita. If you want to do it right now, it is over there. It's very easy. Three sentences, type three sentences with there is and type three sentences with there are. Very easy. So the homework is on the platform. Well, uh, thank you very much, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Congratulations, because today I had a full house. So I'm very happy. Everybody was here. So bye-bye, everybody. Have a good night. Bye. God bless you. Sweet dreams, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.